what is my IQ? Uh, it's less than it used to be because it, it declines as you age, you know, quite a lot. So you start getting stupider from an IQ perspective at about 22 or 23. So, and the best way to regulate that is to engage in physical exercise, just so you all know. So um, both weightlifting and cardiovascular exercise are really good for the maintenance of intelligence. Um, I don't know what my IQ is. I, I had it tested at one point. Um, it's in excess of 150, but I don't know exactly where it lands. Now, I should, I should uh, what qualify that to some degree. You know, as your intelligence increases, the scatter between the different subtypes of intelligence, such as there are, <coughs> increases. So you might say that there's only one way to be stupid, but there's many ways to be intelligent. And so I'm not overwhelmingly intelligent from a quantitative perspective. You know, I, I think my GRE scores for on the quantitative uh, end of things were about 70, 75th percentile, which isn't too bad given that, you know, you're competing against other people who are going into graduate school. But there's a big difference between 75th percentile and 99th percentile. And I think that's where I was verbally, something like that. Um, so I can certainly see that I have gaps in my intelligence when, it, when I'm discussing things with people who have real who are really quantitatively brilliant. My business partner, Daniel Higgins, is quantitatively brilliant. Um, I've got an edge on him verbally, but but he's definitely got an edge on me quantitatively. And I've had students like that too, who like could pick up statistics. I had one student who was a little on the autistic side. And that, that she was a uh, woman. Man, that woman, she was so damn smart. She, she learned how to write, moved from, you know, credible writer to an excellent writer in about four months, which was stellar. And she moved from not knowing a damn thing about statistics to being able to teach it to Harvard undergraduates at an award-winning level within a year. It's like, that just made my jaw drop. Now, she had a hell of a time presenting herself properly in public when she was doing public presentations. So, you know, she had other gaps in her ability. But, um, you know, I can hold my own verbally. And I'm rarely in a situation where I feel like I'm at a disadvantage verbally. But... That's certainly not the case quantitatively. I feel at a disadvantage very frequently quantitatively. So.